always have dreams and hopes when you're starting a band and um, I had pretty high expectations. So, you know, you wanted to, you wanted to kind of get there eventually, but you, ha you have to do that making the music you make, so. It started off kind of just as a phone call from the manager. We played more and more shows and we got booked on festivals and it really started to form into a thing, but I didn't know what I was getting myself in for when I, when I first started doing it. And then, yeah, and then, it's, you know, then the album came out and there was years of touring around the world. I like, didn't know we could come play in Mexico or South America and that, so it was all pretty, pretty wild. Learn a lot about music, production, people. The best job I've ever had. This incredible ride, really. Something that you'd always dream of doing as a kid, and then when you live it, it's totally weird and different to how you thought it would be, but... I didn't think I'd be doing music when I was a kid until um, then I did uni, I did film at uni and music was just happened, was like a hobby and it kind of took off. When you were a kid, did you have, was there something else you wanted to do? Um, be a scientist. <laughs> That's pretty I cool. I like dinosaurs in space for like 10 years. That's kind of a very kid thing. Yeah. I like dinosaurs in space I remember thinking like, also. why do people like music? That's so stupid. Tony Soprano likes dinosaurs. If we've been doing lots of shows, you don't get as nervous because you know that everything works and you're pretty familiar with it. But we haven't done one in, what, three months or something like that. Mm. And we just yeah. had the one rehearsal, so I think I'll be quite nervous tonight. <laughs> We learnt a lot about songwriting as opposed to track making. We actually know what... I don't even know what you called the la yeah, last time, but... Um, we actually know what keys are and modes. Changing, <laughs> lifting for choruses, all that kind of stuff. So it's kind of interesting to see if... More technical songwriting. Yeah, if we can actually write better songs and that kind of accounts for the fact that we don't spend so much time on the songs and then see how people react to that, you know? What's more important, songwriting in a the way a melody interacts with chords or it's the style of a song, you know? I like 
like, that's definitely probably one of the main things that I like about music. Yeah, so I it's like, like you experiment music. quite a lot and then when you find exactly what you have, it's like you put in all that effort and it comes together. Yeah, it's like you get to, it, the sound finds you and you're, it's not like, oh, I'm so great, I make this sound. It's like, you found this sound yeah. and it found you and you, you, you're connected to something and it's awesome. Yes! I found it! And it's really rewarding because you can spend ages and you're like, Ugh. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Josh Penner, aka Penner Audio, aka Larry, aka Larry. Larry. <laughs> Best tour manager and uh, sound guy. We know till we meet the next guy and then we'll say he's the best. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Pretty much. <laughs> there's a lot that goes on before the microphone. Uh, so, you know, if there's good sounds, good talent, good, you know, playing, then it's gonna sound good out Um, I guess because it's a Mexican show tonight, it's like the craziest crowd there is, pretty much. It's yeah, gonna be big. I guess How many people we? So we're about to play a show. We're in Mexico City. It's probably one of our most favorite place, places to play. Uh, yeah, this everyone goes crazy here. I'm excited about this show. It's a beautiful day. The place is big. It looks like there's, there's lots of speakers. There's like. However many bloody hundred speakers, it's going to be loud. It's going to be lots of people screaming, I'm sure. That's what we've always got in Mexico, so. It's one of my favorite favorites. It's an excellent proposal. I like it a lot from what it is sometimes. From the major mind, bravado. Todo, todo, todo. De verdad tiene un estilo único. I really like playing sometimes, I suppose. I guess it's probably the, the most well-known song. Crowd goes wild usually, you know, so you can't ask for more than that. How do you feel, Joel? I usually feel pretty amazing. You feel amazing? Yeah, it's you fun. You look amazing it's too. It's really fun. <laughs> I guess the energy that uh, comes from the crowd uh, gets us more pumped. So yeah. if they're Bigger more the crowd, the crazy crowd. Yeah, if they're more excited, then we get pretty pumped. Yeah, and then we're, ah! And then, ah! Yeah. And then, woo! This is woo! back and forth energy. Yeah! Ah! Woo! Next thing we blow up! <laughs> That's the end of the show. Come on.
wonderful, fun ride that has taken me to all these places. And I don't like, yeah, I don't like to hold on to it too tightly because I feel like if I do, it'll disappear. So I just like to float with the whole thing and that's what I've done.